welcome my fellow teacher rock stars to another episode of Rock Your Class. I was nearing the end of three months straight of concerts when it happened. I was ready to start a show. The music began playing. I brought the microphone to my mouth, but no sound escaped my lips. I had lost my voice. Fortunately, just as our students can surprise us in class, the thousands of students at the concert stepped up big time. There was nothing I could do, so I pointed the mic out towards the audience, and they began to sing the song for me. And they continued singing the rest of the concert, track after track. A few years later, a similar experience. This time in the classroom, I started to teach a class when my voice gave out. This time I had no mic to point towards my students. Besides, even if I did, would they know what to do or say? I was in the middle of a new lesson. What was I to do? I snapped into mind time mode. I pointed to objects. I used gestures. I wrote keywords on the board. I did anything that would get my point across. These techniques turned out to be silent but deadly accurate. I challenged myself and my students to see just how long I could keep this lesson going. And I did it. I finished the 10 minute lesson and then handed out the follow-up activity. I had stumbled upon another cool strategy. My students, whether out of sympathy or out of sheer challenge, tried to interpret for me as I taught the lesson. They stepped up. They delivered. I decided that I wouldn't wait until my voice gave out again. I decided that I was going to plan another mime time lesson in the future. I created a template that included my lesson title, goals, keywords, and phrases. Then I filled an inventory checklist of objects and props that I thought might work. Before the lesson began, I wrote the keywords and phrases randomly on the board. I placed various objects and props around the classroom. I even put some of the props onto the desks of specific students. During the lesson, when I pointed to a student that had a prop on their desk, they held up the object and the rest of the students tried to figure out the object's connection to my lesson. Give it a go. Try this mind time strategy. Deliver a two to 10 minute lesson without saying a word. Look, the break in routine alone will have your students full attention, but the forced use of their sense of sight and deduction skills will make this lesson unforgettable. I'm including the Mind Time template that I use with this strategy inside the free download of the Mind Time Lesson Plan Pack. Feel free to use it, edit it, share it, whatever you need to do to rock your class. Yeah.